Hello and welcome to another episode of Scortified Engineering. I'm Sprutis and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing so you can stay up to date with all my different projects and whatnot. And this is one of those whatnot. Um, I actually intended to release another um, episode of another segment today but today is a very special day especially here in Sweden um, something that a Swedish company has uh, premiered I know that they now are uh, owned of, uh, by a company in Germany and they are basically a global uh, company so it's actually a special day for the entire world and what's so special is the most powerful uh, heavy-duty production V8 the world's most powerful that's something so I'm of course talking about Scania and I actually came about the idea of recording something about it today which is the day that I'm supposed to release an episode so hopefully it's now 20 minutes past 9 so hopefully this will be a, a short edit so I can release it on time but <coughs> yeah I me as an engineer and a, um, engine geek and technique geek and whatnot I find it very very impressive it's a company who I mean they are known for many things um, and basically it's all down to the people who work at Scania I mean everyone who was involved has contributed in some way well everyone at the company even those who didn't work directly on the project um, but today uh, this well just before lunch at 10 o'clock there was uh, a premiere so Scania group released a small video on YouTube very small unfortunately so I will put the card somewhere maybe here it will pop up where you can find a link to that video if you haven't seen it uh, I guess if you're in the automotive world then you've already seen it but um, if you haven't then I will provide you with the link uh, despite being short it's uh, nice and me myself I, I don't have a truck driving license so I haven't driven one officially um, but I've ridden in one and only one time in a V8 equipped truck and I must say that it was it was a special feeling all that power is quite amazing uh, yeah I, I'm I'm blown away um, so and I think that the video they released didn't really I, I know it's hard to sort of uh, present that feeling but I didn't feel like they even made an effort to, to try um, I think they could have done something more because it's it is very special and I guess if you look it from the other side you are a truck driver um, 
you of course know about Scania, you know about the quality, etc. etc. Then you know what what the V8 stands for. And there is only one company in the world who has a heavy duty V8 in a in a truck application. So perhaps they don't need to provide that information. Maybe it's just enough to say, here you have it. And if you know, you know. And then you will go and buy it. Um, but for, for the geeks like me, I would have appreciated a bit more information maybe. They do list the different power levels. So they are ranging from 590 uh, horsepower and let me see 2800 newton meters all the way up to 770 horsepower and 3700 newton meters with a fuel saving of up to 6% and it must be compared to the previous V8 but it also depends on how you spec your truck and uh, of course how you drive it and what driving mode you're in and what load point etc so it's not really straightforward but the the work needed to improve the combustion engine today is very far from being just that it's not easy but uh, somehow they make it and <clears throat> so again I would also have liked to see them giving some credit to the people who, who made it possible they don't need to say a lot they can just say this is the company and show a picture of <laughs> of uh, Scania employees in Scania clothes or whatever and uh, at the same time at 10 o'clock I think there was another premiere going on and that one was in the UK the UK guys they uh, made a bit they made an effort I I, I got sitting and looking through the entire thing. I liked it a lot. But also I'm a guitarist or guitar player, so I enjoy that. They have Gibson, the guitar player is playing on a Gibson Flying Wii. And he has, a, he has two uh, speaker stacks, so two Marshall amplifiers two slanted uh, 4x12 so four 12 inch speakers uh, in one cabinet in each uh, stack and then below that he has two uh, regular cabinets also 4x12 the fun thing about that is that Tomman actually had a sale on those recently and I was so close to pressing buy yeah <clears throat> but uh, yeah it's a lot of money so it has to wait but anyway they basically provide the information that I like to see and uh, but it's also you have to sort of be in the business or be interested in this field in order to understand what they are saying um, so uh, for me it's good uh, I understand most of it I will never ever say that I understand it all because then uh, I'm finished and I want to continue to learn <laughs> but anyway um, they are talking about Scania being uh, it's a brand 
the V8 is the beating heart of Scania and of course it's the it's I mean it's what they put up on the pedestal it's the it's a thing if you see if you see a Scania V8 out on the roads then you know you have the logo and if you see a driver then they will have the clothes and they will have the cap and whatever not all of them of course but uh, it's it's a bit fun um, I guess if I owned a Scania V8 I would also have a Scania V8 cap um, and um, the they have up so in in the UK video they are up on a stage so they have the band a three man band uh, the guitar player bass player and the drummer and then in the middle they have a big screen showing different uh, videos with different information and then on the other side of the screen they have a fully spec'd out 770s and so it's equipped with the highest powered rating rated V8 as well as their new gearbox um, OptiCruise and um, that alone stands for around 1% uh, fuel savings so and they are Scania UK is also giving cred to the people who worked on it so that's nice and uh, yeah it doesn't cost them anything really just to say thank you and the funny thing about this video is that they are actually showing the material which was shown in the Sw Swedish uh, uh, video only like an extended cut so it's a bit more I think and anyway they actually go on and uh, talk about some of the details so uh, one detail is weight so the gearbox the new gearbox is, is 60 kilograms lighter and uh, the engine is 75 kilograms lighter I know that an engine is upwards or an engine and gearbox maybe together is upwards to one ton 1000 kilograms it's less than that but around there so uh, so let's say it's one ton then it's more than 10% uh, decrease in weight that's a lot imagine if you shed 10% uh, wait, that's a big step. Hmm. The gearbox was in development for six years, so 10% over six years is then again not so much. But uh, well, yesterday you could could only buy the old setup, and today you can maybe today. Is it today? Maybe. Um, maybe today you can book the new setup so from one day to another you have shed 10% so ha and <clears throat> they have uh, uh, they are showing the engine um, I didn't I'm not sure if it's an animation or or if it's an actual engine hmm. never mind it's pretty anyway um, so they are showing it from all different angles so uh, very nice to look at and uh, they are also explaining that uh, they have a new engine of the treatment system with twin dosing so for you who don't know, um, when someone says that the exhaust of the treatment system, EAS, has twin dosing, it means that it has a twin SCR system, 
and uh, SAR stands for Selective Catalyst Reduction. Reduction. <laughs> Sorry. So it means that uh, you have a water and um, uh, ammonia mix which is sprayed into the exhaust and uh, you will then get the reaction in the SCR which will reduce the, um, the NOx. So if you then have a better after treatment system for reducing NOx then uh, perhaps the EGR isn't uh, needed anymore. EGR, exhaust gas recirculation. Um, you take the uh, hot exhaust gases with, which are combusted, so you don't really have anything in it, meaning barely any energy. So, and you return it into the uh, uh, intake manifold in some way. Uh, you can have it cooled and you can have it in a hot version and then you get it into the combustion chamber with the uh, fresh air and you have it take up space during the combustion of the diesel and air mixture same thing in in a auto engine <clears throat> the point is the EGR the exhaust gases they will take up heat so you will lower the combustion temperature and by lowering the combustion temperature you, you reduce NOx. But uh, um, if you already have a, an efficient um, after treatment system then you can, might as well get rid of the EGR which Ghani has done. So no EGR which makes it the setup less complicated around the engine anyway you don't transport the heat in an unconvenient way they also talk about the new fuel pump don't know much about that um, <clears throat> they have a new ECU um, yeah don't know how much I can say about that but uh, some things about the engine so they have removed the EGR they have increased compression so the ratio between when the piston is in bottom dead center to when the piston is in top dead center is higher so it's of course then compressing it more which leads to higher uh, peak cylinder pressures so when the piston is going up and compressing your mixture then it, it you will have a higher um, higher pressure um, they have also reduced internal friction so which means that pumping losses just uh, the losses of rotating the engine uh, because you need you can't utilize all the energy you get from the combustion to to propel the vehicle forward you also need some to uh, rotate the engine and if you can reduce uh, those frictions the forces working against it then uh, you will have a more efficient engine and uh, another cool thing is the uh, new ball bearing turbo and uh, they are also saying that they have a new single bank exhaust manifold which is for improving or it isn't for that but this manifold is improving the scavenging of the engine 
So when one cylinder is uh, pushing out uh, the combusted mixture, uh, that the exhaust gas will flow past the, the port of another cylinder and it will pull um, remaining exhaust gases in that area forward or to with it. But since it's a V8 you still have two banks and one manifold per bank leads up to one turbo then I guess it's a twin scroll turbo. I mean why not? What else? They are also uh, going in more uh, more detailed about the different power levels. So, like I said before, 530 horsepower and 2,800 newton meters, all the way up to the flagship uh, 770 horsepower and 3,700 newton meters. They are showing the uh, power and torque curves and uh, they are also saying that uh, uh, they aren't using the word downspeeding but uh, one of the things that Scania has focused on is to have the power starting low down low in RPM um, which makes for better drivability and uh, you don't have to rev the engine even though a diesel of this size doesn't really rev um, <clears throat> but uh, what you can see in the in the power and torque curves is that there there are uh, there are clear steps between the different power levels so it's not just like they are like, uh, they don't have like two power levels with different shapes just to make some sort of one type of customer happy um, they actually go higher in both power and torque for each step they are also talking about uh, uh, that all power levels can be ran at uh, with renewable uh, fuels so the 590 the lowest one no sorry must be 530, 530. yeah 530 is the lowest one but uh, maybe yeah I guess he said 590 that one could be uh, ran on biodiesel and the rest would could be run on uh, HVO, hydro treated vegetable oil. These vehicles will be uh, out on the streets in the first qu quarter next year, 2021. So uh, at least I will be looking forward to that. Uh, and it's, it, it's uh, special that. I am actually looking forward to a release of uh, um, of a truck. I'm not really a truck guy, <coughs> especially not a diesel guy. And they are also talking about something very special. They have 16 special trucks, fully specced out 770S. And when you buy one of those, I can't I'm sorry but I can't remember the name of those but when you buy one of those you get a custom airbrushed Gibson Flying V. How cool is that? And they are talking about hanging it on the wall and but if you are playing on it then you need to be careful with your hearing. Mm, but I mean come on. You have to play it. So another thing today was that uh, Scania uh, here in Sweden they uh, put out one of those engines that they showed either an animation or a photo shoot of 
uh, in the UK video. So uh, I, uh, I of course had to take a look. So uh, um, I will now show you some of the footage that I took of that engine. Okay, so that was my own little photo shoot of that pretty engine. Uh, unfortunately, there was someone who put a smear on one of the valve covers. Not good. That person doesn't know that uh, the fat you have on the on the uh, on the skin is uh, destroying the surface of the metal. You need to be careful. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm very impressed. I'm extremely impressed by all the people who are working on these projects. Um, it's uh, that's another thing. Uh, the UK guys, there were three of them. They were very I think they were very humble in the way they are were presenting the engine I mean it's the most powerful production heavy-duty engine in the world those are some heavy words really cool so again if you haven't seen the videos I guess there are a lot more and uh, well, I know there are a lot more, uh, but uh, you can have a look and uh, build your own opinion about it. Um, like I said, I think it's very cool. Um, mm -hmm. But um, so I hope this episode was okay. I wanted to sort of. Uh, pay my own little tribute to this big thing who knows when and if we get another V8 imagine if this is the last V8 <sighs> terrible Whoa. can't think like that <laughs> but um, yeah I enjoy engines, I enjoy the technique around it, I want to learn more, always, so much to learn, so little time, but uh, yeah I'm just rambling on now, but uh, if you're still watching then thank you very much for watching this episode and uh, on Wednesday we will be back on my normal stuff sort of but uh, if you enjoyed me talking about these things then please let me know in the comments or if you think that I should stay out of 
this uh, sort of commenting area, then uh, you, you may say so as well. It's, uh, I'm, I'm doing this for you, sort of for me as well, but I'm doing it for, uh, for all of us. It's a, it's a community, so let's share. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. And uh, until the next episode, I hope you'll stay safe and take care of yourself and the people around you. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next episode, like always. So, bye bye. I almost forgot. Um, when we were... Uh, when we were about to go and have a look at the engine, uh, a colleague of mine, she said that uh, <laughs> she could see how happy I was about going and having a look at the engine. So uh, I guess when you're, you're truly happy about something, then it, it will show. I, I just think it's very funny because it's not the first time I've heard this about me and automotive related topics um, but yeah I enjoy it a lot and uh, also if you didn't know I'm extremely shy <laughs> I <laughs> she just said that and uh, uh, yeah, so th this is my way of doing uh, personal development. Uh, I want to be able to s say what I feel. Uh, I don't want to be the shy Swede who uh, don't speak up. And I also want to become a more efficient speaker. I feel that my episodes are a bit slow. But um, I'm, I think uh, I would need to write uh, scripts in order to improve the speed. But also the way I talk could improve. But uh, it's a learning curve. And I'm enjoying it. And I hope you're enjoying it. So I will let you go now. So bye-bye. <laughs>